Hey everyone. Hey, hey everyone. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing great. I hope you are all doing great. And I know it is a very dark time. I know some persons are beyond despondent as it regards the COVID-19 pandemic, but I'm going to encourage you to keep the faith. There's there are times when I will derail and get so annoyed and frustrated. Not so much because of the the um the consequences of covid in terms of catching the covid-19 um the coronavirus but more so the kind of how would you put it that that kind of a springboard effect you know the different consequences of it such as uh stores closing earlier than normal only two persons at a time and you have to be waiting and uh, so you know because of the social distance and sometimes you may be standing somewhere and it's very sunny and hot and it burns you up that's what I'm talking about I find that to be very sometimes disturbing I have not been thank God with God's by God's grace I have not been fearful of the virus I, I just I don't know what to say and I'm not saying it you know um, in a crowd way I'm saying it humbly really you know Honestly, God see my own trials and tribulations and realize that why this lady here can't manage not even a pin more on her head. So God has been good. But you know, I've been seeing some things and it just brought me to this. I'm not saying that that is the reason for what I'm about to speak on, but I'm saying it is also a very strong possibility. It's a part of and the matter of humility and the matter of how we treat people and i have done a lot of videos on it because you know i was saying in a video and it's something that i've been meditating on that you go to church over the years from a child or into adulthood adolescence into adulthood and you hear about the sins you know like fornication adultery stealing lying and those things are terrible don't get me wrong you know but we forget and it's it's so funny Especially the first commandment or the first two commandments or the first three commandments. The most important. Let's put it that way. Since it's categorized by God himself. You know, there must be a reason why he would put them in the order in which he puts them. You know, and you should obey all of them. Not just part and parcel. But, you know, it's just so funny that when you grow up, you only hear, Oh, do not commit murder. Do not lie. Do not steal. Do not. And the sexual sins as you know them. And... We don't preach treating people poorly and badly, ostracizing them, you know, going into cliques and is basically ostracizing and rejecting others is also a sin, you know. Um, and although you may see me smiling, I'm not smiling because it's something funny. It is, it's, it's a fact that I think we have been sometimes, you know, unwittingly being misguided or not given the full truth treating people badly is a sin people envying people it's a sin saying bad things about people behind their backs is a sin it is sinful it is and you know what i've realized whatever seed you sow you're going to reap you know but guess what happened you don't sow peace and reap corn you know whatever seed you sow you reap and when you reap them you reap them in abundance just as how if you do good, it, it comes in abundance. It's the very same for bad. It comes in abundance. And I've been seeing a lot of persons, you know, that I know personally. And the kind of... I'm not saying that good people won't get sick. Don't get me wrong. But there's a difference. There's something. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like God delivers them from out of it all. You know, when it says, The righteous man falleth seven times, but God delivers them out of it, delivers him out of it all. Him or her, as the case may be. You know, and even though you fall, you will not slip. Something to that effect, that's what the scripture says. So there is a difference. So even though, for example, Job, all of the things happened to him and they thought, you know, he had done bad his friends and so forth. And then God just restored him wonderfully and beautifully. But in, in a lot of the cases, is the things that they have done to others. The things they have said behind their backs, the thoughts they have had and held on to them. The unforgiveness, the bitterness, the envy. The bad-minded jealousies, the spreading of false false information, the rumors, which is tumors really, 
and slander. So you will know something truthful about somebody, but you spread it with evil intent because you know it will create embarrassment and humiliation on the individual. People don't do those things. Please, I beg of you, commit none of the sins. But I'm specifically for this video talking about those do not treat others badly. I just bundle it all under that. Treating others badly. Don't do it, please. Sometimes you see some people develop some terrible cancer just that, that just damage them and they just die so badly. Or they get stroke and they get heart attack. And, it, and they're and when you see the condition of the individual that you knew, you, you know, from your childhood or from a long time. You know, and again, let me reiterate that I'm not saying that, you know, it is because of that. I am just saying to you this. Please be careful, people. Because it, I, I'm speaking from, you know, watching some things happen to others. That, you know, boy, they do, do some things to some people. I'm, I'm, trust me on that. Them that do some things to some people, say some things to some people, treat them so badly. They treat them so badly in different ways, speak badly about them, slander them, you know, and try to cause others to hate them. You're crazy people, stay away from that. It's, it's almost like you're swallowing cyanide, grammar zone and rat poisoning one. Don't do it. Because while that individual may remember for a time and then forget after another, God rem will remember. He said, vengeance is his. He will repay. Please stay away from them things there. I beg of you. I plead. Don't do it. It's, it's you know, you, <laughs> you don't want to have them regrets there. Please, people. I am begging you like a man who is really hungry and begging for food. Stay away from treating people badly. I'm always put God first. Put no other gods above him. Put no other gods above him. Love him with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. That's the first commandment, people. Part A and part B. That's, you understand when you break that, you break, you're sinning. You're sinning. So it's not just sexual sins or lying and stealing and killing. We don't look at that. Envy is a sin. The Bible says, COVID, not your, your neighbors, this, nobody, nothing for them. Not, you know? So it's a sin. Please. I beg of you. He said that first commandment. Read it over and over. Ask God to give you a newfound inspiration. If not, on it. And stay away from those things. Stay away from slandering, spreading rumor. Whether it's true or not. So it's off our word of prayer. If you find that you, you're feeling unforgiving. Of prayer, ask God to remove it from you. Bitterness, hatred, unforgiveness, malice. Ask God to give you a heart of love and compassion. I do it. Please. Even if it is your enemy. And you're tempted to say, you know what God? Help that person to change. Because one day that person can change and become your best friend. And I'm not using it in the, in the sense of the Bob, Bob Marley song. I'm just saying genuinely. You know? But please stay away from certain things. Stay away from treating people badly. And put no other gods above God. Put no other gods above him. Do not do it. Don't do it. Please have a great one. Stay blessed and be blessed.